Hi there! Today we're talking about what constitutes a balanced and a healthy diet. The main question that we're focusing on is which foods should we eat more of and which foods should we try and avoid? So let's get right to it. In June 2011, the United States Department of Agriculture came up with a new set of dietary guidelines called the MyPlate. By the way, you're looking at an image of that on your screen right now. Now, having analyzed this and some of USDA's previous efforts in the area, I can tell you that MyPlate is definitely better than USDA's previously released and highly criticized food pyramids. You'll find that the MyPlate guidelines are easy to understand. And I suspect that we'll be seeing this image on our food packages soon enough. So it's important for us to interpret this and go through some of the key consumer messages recommended by the USDA. So let's get right to it. The first recommendation provided by the USDA is that fruits and vegetables make half our plate. This frankly is very good advice as fruits and vegetables are excellent sources of minerals, vitamins and carbohydrates that our body needs. Now, the amount of fruits and vegetables you need depends on your age, sex, and physical activity. You can calculate the number of cups of fruits and vegetables you need on a daily basis by visiting the website choosemyplate.gov. The same link is also available in this video's description. The second recommendation provided by the USDA is that a quarter of the food on your plate come from grains and that at least half of the grains you eat be whole grains. Now, while that is a very good start, my recommendation, which stems from the Harvard School of Public Health, is that you make all of the grains you eat whole grains. The source of this information can be found in appropriate links in this video's description. Finally, my plate recommends that a quarter of your plate have protein rich foods like meats, beans, nuts, and seeds. Now, even though my plate is a major improvement on some of USDA's previous efforts in the area, it still does not reflect the latest science on healthy eating. For instance, nowhere does my plate highlight that beans, fish, and chicken are better protein choices than red meat. My plate is also silent on a large portion of the US diet that is junk. This includes sugary drinks, sweets, refined grains, and the like. So, to give you a, the best advice on healthy eating, I would like to discuss with you the Healthy Eating Pyramid. This was designed by the Department of Nutrition at the Harvard School of Public Health and is by far the best set of healthy eating guidelines available on the web. Let's talk about it a little bit. The Healthy Eating Pyramid doesn't provide any advice on counting calories. Instead, it focuses on identifying and eating quality food. Now, there is one guideline that the healthy eating pyramid comes with, which is that a healthy diet includes more food from the base of the pyramid than it does from higher levels of the pyramid. If you're interested, by the way, in calculating the specific number of cups of a particular food you need on a daily basis, which again depends on your age, sex, and physical activity, you can do that by using the links provided in this video's description. So let us start at the base of the pyramid and make our way up. The healthy eating pyramid, you'll notice, sits on a foundation of daily exercise. Remember the weight change equation. Weight change is equal to calories in minus calories out. So that means that if you burn as many calories as you take in each day, there's nothing left over for storage and the weight remains the same. Eat more than you burn, however, and you end up adding fat and pounds. Regular exercise can help you control your weight and it is a key part of any weight loss effort. A 30 minute brisk walk on five days of the week is all most people need. Or you can do 25 minutes of a more vigorous activity three days a week. These activities include jogging, aerobics, singles, tennis, or you can even do a combination of both the brisk walk and the vigorous activity. Remember, getting any amount of exercise is better than no exercise. So let's move on to the next layer which contains fruits and vegetables. A diet that is rich in fruits and vegetables has a lot of benefits. Fruits and vegetables can reduce chances of having heart attack and stroke. They also help protect against some forms of cancer and lower blood pressure. 
Now, you can visit the link in this video's description to calculate the number of cups of fruits and vegetables you need, but the range is somewhere between 2.5 to 6.5 cups of fruits and vegetables a day. Next up are plant-based oils. Plant-based oils are an excellent source of good or unsaturated fat. These oils include olive, canola, soy, corn, sunflower and peanut oils. The recommendation is that we use plant-based unsaturated oils for our cooking needs and completely eliminate the use of saturated or hydrogenated oils. Now, we have opined at length about the benefits of eating whole grains in a previous video. We now know that our body cannot digest whole grains as quickly as it can highly processed carbohydrates like white flour. This slow digestion keeps blood sugar and insulin levels from rising and then falling too quickly. Better control of blood sugar and insulin can keep hunger at bay and may prevent the development of type 2 diabetes. Now we'll move on to the next layer which contains some more healthy fats and proteins. Nuts and seeds have healthy fats, otherwise known as unsaturated fats, and these are good for the heart. Beans and tofu are excellent vegetarian sources of protein. So are fish, poultry and eggs. A wealth of research now suggests that eating fish can actually reduce the risk of heart disease. Okay, so the next layer will get us into the higher levels of the pyramid. And remember the guideline, we should eat more food from the base of the pyramid than the higher levels of the pyramid. This layer highlights dairy products. We should keep our consumption of dairy products to a minimum, somewhere around one to two servings a day. This is because milk products can contain a lot of saturated fats. If you enjoy dairy foods, try to stick mainly with no fat or low fat products. Click on the link in this video's description to find out the recommended daily quantities of milk products that are broken out by age groups. At the very top of this pyramid, you will find products that are extremely unhealthy. These we should not consume at all or consume extremely sparingly. Some of these products are red meat and butter, which contain large quantities of saturated fats. Also in this layer are sugary drinks, white rice, white bread and white pasta. These food products can lead to weight gain, diabetes and heart disease. The salt shaker is a new addition to this layer and is based on extensive research linking high sodium diets to increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Finally, let's talk a bit about multivitamins. A daily multivitamin multimineral supplement offers a kind of nutritional backup, especially when it includes some extra vitamin D. Now, remember that no multivitamin can in any way replace healthy eating or make up for unhealthy eating, but it can fill in the nutrient holes that can sometimes affect even the most careful eaters. Now that we've gone through the several layers in the healthy eating pyramid, I recommend that you take a printout of this slide using the link provided in this video's description and hang it to a fridge for handy reference. Okay, so now that we have all this new information courtesy of the healthy eating pyramid, let me ask you the following question, which is, what is the best way to eat healthy? Well, the answer to this question is probably the most important advice I can offer in this entire video series, which is, the best way to eat healthy is to learn to cook your own food. Now, I know that our lives are really busy and that we do not have time for cooking. But let's remember that the food we put in our bodies directly affects our health and longevity. I recall a story which was first uh, told by the famous investor Warren Buffett. He said that if you knew that you were only going to have one car for your entire life, you would probably take really good care of it. You would change its oil and fix any engine troubles before they became major problems. You would definitely not disregard your car if you knew that that was the only car you were ever going to have. Well, just like the car, Mr. Buffett added, you only get one body for your entire life. So, clearly this story tells us that it is important for us to take care of our body and eat healthy. And the best way to eat healthy is to learn to cook your own food. This way you can choose real food, you can use healthy oils, and you can limit your sugar intake. In the next video, we're going to discuss how to read a package label.